Ladies and gentlemen, you read the title correctly. Today, we are going to be composing a piece using chess moves only. Now, for those of you who are unfamiliar with the game of chess, it's essentially a board with 64 squares and it has different pieces with different roles. You've got rooks, knights, bishops, king, queen, and pawns. And the goal of the game is to checkmate and defeat the opposing king. Now, each square has its own coordinate, and we're going to try and compose a piece using these coordinates. Now, those coordinates are composed by letters and numbers. Now, in music, you can also use letters in order to label notes. For example, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. Now, the problem is in chess, you've also got an H file, and there's no such thing as an H note uh, on the violin. So whenever there's a coordinate with the letter H, I'm simply going to add uh, a note that I think suits best the harmony at that given moment. So without further ado, let's get right into our first game. All right, we're playing as the white pieces. Uh, I'm going to play the only opening I know, which is uh, the London opening. Uh, this part should be pretty automatic now. Uh, not too much thinking involved in the opening. Uh, oh. Oh. Not too much thinking in the opening, eh? I just got humbled very quickly. For those of you who don't know what happened, I just lost the most valuable piece. I'm definitely losing this. But hey, if this makes a musical masterpiece, it would have all been worth it. I'm talking about my stupidity. Um, okay, let's see. Any hope for something like this? Uh, maybe. Maybe. Just maybe. Doubling the rooks. Will that give into something? Accidental checkmate. <laughs> wow. Well, I take my words back about what I said about stupidity earlier. Let's see. Do I have any brilliant moves? I did. I did lose my queen in the beginning. That was a horrible move. Um, as you can see here, the evaluation bar. Uh, put me a little bit higher in the beginning, but then when I blundered my queen, you can see that my opponent had uh, the the advantage. And then there came a point where I think we were leveled, I made another blunder, and then um, uh, I was able to checkmate him by accident. Which, I still don't know how that happened, but that's okay. That's okay. Uh, Let's go to the analysis and look at some of the coordinates uh, we we had during this game. So I'm going to look at the coordinates uh, right here uh, for my music notes. So this is basically going to be uh, my music sheet. Um, so whenever there is uh, a letter, I am going to play uh, the corresponding note. Uh, so here we have uh, two Ds. Uh, so one is my initial move and then my opponent's response. And then we have F, C, so D, D, F, C. Okay, let's go a little bit further. I'm not really sure what key we're in, uh, so that's the first step that I wanna do. Uh, I wanna identify the key, and then we're going to add uh, rhythmical uh, variations uh, in order to make it a bit more interesting. So. Let's first figure out what the key is. I'm going to play all of the notes uh, as is, and we're going to see if we can figure out uh, a key. What if I tried starting a little bit higher and going down? What I just played was in C major, so I'll transpose what I just played in another key to see how it sounds. So I think I figured out what key we're in. 
We are very oddly a little bit in, in D major. Um, so I'm going to add two sharps in D major, which uh, are the F sharp and the C sharp. So I'm going to plug all of these uh, in my software. Uh, we're in D major, um, and we'll see what we can come up with. As I'm writing the notes, there's still something that feels odd, and I just can't put my finger on it quite yet. Okay, let's start with these three bars for now. So let's hear how these three bars sound like. Now that was D major. Let me try D minor just for the funs of it. Interesting. Hmm. So I'm actually going to change the key to D minor because I think it sounds even cooler that way. So we're going to go with the D minor harmonic scale, uh, which means we're going to add C sharps uh, everywhere in order for that to correspond to the harmonic system. Now I'm going to switch some notes range, which basically means it's a higher octave. Uh, now it's the same note, but it's on a different register. Uh, so I'd like for these two first Ds to be played an octave higher. Trying to figure out what rhythm sounds good and which one doesn't. So I'm going to start an octave lower for the next measure, just so that I can give more emphasis on that B flat. Uh, I think that sounds Pretty nice. Here, here I'd like to put a syncopation to kind of give an offbeat to that. I like that tritone there. Kind of adds more mystery. Okay, so we've passed from this. And to so with a little bit of rhythmical variety, you're able to transform it into something like this. So let's make this even more interesting by adding double stops, articulations, and dynamics. Yeah, that didn't sound too good. Here I'm trying to play a tenth and it's excruciatingly difficult to get in tune. You know, it's really crazy that you can come up with music just by playing a simple chess game. And it really challenges you to see music in a different way uh, when you're given a set of notes to try and, and come up with a story uh, with these notes. I really wonder if this will be the new way of how people compose music. Jeez, I mean, you can even turn this into a symphony. Why not? Maybe one day. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoyed this video, like, subscribe, and let me know if you want me to do uh, more videos like this. This was definitely a fun challenge.